Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today's video is, of course, dedicated to a very special lady. She is absolutely my favorite servant in the entire game, and probably in all of Fate, if I'm thinking. It'd actually probably be a very hard competition, but she's definitely one of them. Um, but to Quaddle. Uh, in theory, we should be getting her... Um, her rate up soon, and I'm pretty sure that's the last time North America will ever get a Quetzalcoatl rate up. If you are familiar with my channel, you'll know that um, I'm going to be trying to go for a second NP level, because currently mine is only NP1. Um, I've been saving basically all year round for it. Uh, in today's video, I just wanted to use her in general, just so I could have a video. If I never get her NP1 again, then this will be the last time I'll be able to see her in this, uh, in this manner. I guess you could also see it as a catalyst of, come on, you're already, she's already really strong. She could just be, here's the problem though. Um, Quetz is very strong because mine is level 100, uh, fully golden foed out. There's absolutely not a lot I could do to actually make her individually stronger than a lot of units. Um, here's the one problem that she has. I'm pretty positive uh, recently, because he's not story locked. I was able to get a second copy of Ozzy, so now he is technically stronger when it comes to NP levels for, for single target use uh, than Quetz. So I kind of, that's her one detriment is that unfortunately because she is story locked, she's not as strong as someone else. So that's why I want more copies of her. But that's, I've digressed enough. Let's actually get into the fighting. So today I just wanted to use her. She's super powerful. One of my best servants. Hopefully I can get her. If I don't get her, you're going to see me very sad when I release that um, summon video. I also will be summoning just a little bit for Bradamonte because she is um, the tag team partner of Quetz. And of course, I would love to have them be duo together. Platonic ladies hugging it out. So let's go here. Um, let me see. I don't really need to use the crit stuff right now. I didn't get the best Mystic Code now that I think about it. Um for specifically what I'm going to be going for, but hey, it's fine. Uh, I think I'll go here. Go here. If you're unfamiliar with what Quetz does, she has Charisma. She has this Guts thing that gives a 3 buster. I think it's 30% at level 10, which I have, of course. Um, she should be able to take these two out pretty easily. I did pick the greatest stage for her, which means basically as long as she continuously gets... um cards <laughs> she should be able to completely wipe the floor with these dudes no problem she's about to deal just a buttload of damage here um i think she deals more damage if they're divine i think is the, what she does i think i think it's evil or something like that i have to look that up again actually i can look it up right here i forget the exact percentage amount but i think she does deal more she seals super attacks that's for sure one of the things she does and i think it's and inflict burn, that's the other one. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, let's see. Now here's the big problem with Quetz. After you use that first one, it's kind of very hard for her to do anything else. <laughs> let's go in here real quick. Should be fine. Shouldn't be too bad. Now because she is a writer, she does get a whole bunch of crit buffs. Damn! Okay. I forgot that she was under the effect of the crit buffs. <laughs> like, I honestly did forget that. If Merlin had crit, we would have been able to kill so easily. Man. Man. It's fine. Can we go here? Uh, so yeah, I would love for anything for her banner to come back and for me to be able to get her because... I honestly am super afraid. I'm also super ready to get Samba, Samba Quetz as well because she never comes back. And that's a whole other can of worms that I just don't know what to tell you about. Um, keeps me up at night. Doesn't actually keep me up at night. I sleep perfectly fine. Um, but I have been nervous, like, for some- they've been really weird with specifically the handling of Quetz and her event. If you're unaware, it's the only event in Japan that has never gotten a rerun. Um, that's seasonal. So, for example, I, uh, I guess you could make the argument for Saber Wars 2, but here's my argument. Saber Wars 2 was never a Halloween event. It was a Saber Wars 2 event, um, and they killed specifically Halloween- for Saber Wars 2, um, which is something, I guess, completely different. That was a... Oh man, let me tell you, next year, Fate Grand Order, as much as a lot of people... Currently, there's a big drought in JP as far as Fate Grand Order is concerned. Um, 
but I could always easily say, well, it's, you know, the pandemic. Stuff is hard. I'm, I'm not going to be too harsh on them. I'll be harsh on them for not rerunning Quetz because it's literally the easiest thing you could do in the goddamn world, including during a pandemic. She could have easily killed that golem, but I was so pissed off at <laughs> fate not... As you can see here, it is a very sore subject with me. The fact that they have never brought that event back has always, always made me angry. It's so easy to get me um, off topic the second I start talking about because it, it's so weird. It really is something really weird that they've done and they decided to do for no apparent reason. Um, of course, there are plenty of reasons that people will give you. None of them are actually confirmed or... Um, some of them have giant leaps of logic that don't make any sense. Um, yeah, it's it's something else. But let me get back to the girl at, at hand here. Um, I completely forgot that the last stage here actually has <laughs> three dudes instead of the regular two, so I can't actually do her stuff here. She is able to completely wipe the floor of, um, of everything. See, even here, if you... She should be able to take care of these two with no buffs. I oh, of course you didn't crit. Why didn't you crit, girl? 70% chance and she did not crit. That's the fake Grand Order story. I'm going to make a t-shirt of that saying 70% chance to crit, didn't crit. The fake Grand Order story. She's going to crit with the 40% now. I've definitely had... it's. Crit chances in here are dumb. It's like XCOM, where like XCOM's like, oh, you have like a 10% chance of making this shot, and you go like, that's easy, and then you get your butt handed to you. Um, where am I digressing here? Point is, I love quets. And I love using my quets. Um, I don't get a lot of chances to use her, though, because she has single target, and I don't really play single- She's single target and buster, so you want to talk about the most lame-o- <laughs> The most lame -o thing for, like, what I'm into for the game, which is being able to crazy farm. Um, it's very specific nodes. She's great for when there's ever there's a raid, oh my god, whenever there's a super huge challenging boss, I love bringing her out and completely destroying with her. It doesn't happen very often, though, unfortunately. Just the way of the world. Go here. Yeah, so she's built crazy. She's also one of those units who, um... There's, you know, there have been 5-star units that have come out after her and have received buffs, and I felt like they needed those buffs. She doesn't really need a buff all that much, I think. I would like one for her NP... For her NP level, for sure. I would love it if they gave her a buff. I feel like that's the only thing of theirs that they could buff that is... That wouldn't break the game too much. This skill is still fantastic. This skill is still great, and this skill's okay. Uh, this is the one. This is maybe her weakest skill, I think. Um, if I were to judge them, so let me go here. She's not gonna. I did not get the perfect hand, so I'm not gonna be able to. I hate it when specifically the strongest person isn't the first unit on the rotation. I hate it when they're all the way in the back. It's the most annoying thing in group in fate. She got him though. Pretty sure she got him. Yeah, she got him. I mean, she's supported by Merlin, so nothing too surprising on that one. But even without Merlin, I don't own Merlin because um, I never tried for his banner. You know that feeling where you're like... So a lot... Here's the thing. Merlin is well-loved, and for good reason. Um, he's cool. He's based off of Noxolotl. Um, and he's super freaking strong. Here's the problem with him, though. He's too good. And too good usually means very bad time trying to summon them. So I kind of just gave up and was like, I'm not going to bother with you, dude. You're literally, like, built dumb. And you're, there's some, I don't know, if maybe it's just, like, my specific, like, Six cents when it comes to pulling for units. I feel like a lot of gacha players have this weird six cents that they think that they've mastered through their gacha. Um, where they feel like they can sense a shaft coming. Um, that's how I felt. It's 100% how I feel with, um, um, with Merlin. So I just never summoned and I didn't really go for it. I think I threw a couple tickets at him, but that was about it. Just because I was like, I don't want to, you know. I've played the song and dance before. When a unit is too good, there is such a thing as 
you just don't feel the luck is on your side and you don't get them. And that's how I felt like with Merlin. That's how I've always felt with Merlin. And because he specifically would be run ran right next to my girl Quetz, I feel like I wanted too much. Quetz herself, by the way, was not an easy journey to pull. Um, I think there are specific moments in certain gacha games where I say, I think this is the part where I quit. Um, when Quetz first came to the game is maybe the closest I've ever come to quitting the game. That is the one time where I was like, I, I, mm, I hate this game so much. Um, and then the reason was is that it was literally giving me absolutely everyone in the banner. It was it gave me um, Anna, uh, little Medusa. It gave me <laughs> big Medusa, Gorgon, and then to top it all off, I got a five star. And it was Arjuna, which is why I have a deep-seated grudge against Arjuna, because he dared to show himself. Thankfully, I've kind of cured because now he has Monkey, and, you know, Arjuna has come around to being, <laughs> to the luck of his writing and fate, has been really good, so I've been able to kind of just be like, hey, you're a cool guy. I won't. I'll, I'll drop the beef. Just don't show up for me anymore. Oh no! Survive! She survived that. Boom! And with that, I think it's time to end the video. I hope you liked this, by the way. If you did end up liking it, remember to leave a like. Uh, it was a very weird video. This is a very weird video because I'm just like, I just want to make a catalyst for specifically Quetz. My literal favorite as I count down the days for her actual arrival. Man. I'm going to use this for stun anyway. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, Quet, take us out. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it.